We have some social media questions. Working Animal on Twitter. Has there been any fallout for you, Bob, and your business as a result of the FBI raid? No, not yet. I'm kind of bracing for some fallout from the movie. What is your business? Uh, I own United Nuclear, a scientific, uh, uh, scientific equipment and supply uh, company. And we do some prototyping work, sell all varieties of scientific equipment. You make money from this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that I do. You told me during the break that you took a picture of one of the beings. No, 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 no. I didn't, didn't take a picture of one. That was in a, uh, that was in a briefing from a group, that uh, separate group at the facility. What do they look like? Actually, it looks like your, your typical thin body. It's just a very, remember the picture was just of the chest area, so it was a, a very small body, um, thin head, and uh, I guess gaunt is the only way I could describe it. Ken Sobers on Twitter. Bob, if a spacecraft distorted space-time in order to travel massive distances, assuming they don't make any arduously large number of tiny jumps, would you expect such distortion to cause detectable gravity waves? I actually, ask that question, yes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> yes, I actually I I would, depending on the direction the craft is traveling. Yeah, I would imagine we would be able to detect some gravity waves from that. Black Rose four eight seven seven eight on Twitter. What is your theory of the reasons why aliens come to Earth and leave? I know maybe it's like uh, you know they they love our music or they you know it's tourism alien tourism. I don't know. Uh, Bob read something really strange and disturbing in the briefings that we have no place to put it. That they referred to human beings as containers, which is the weirdest thing you could ever hear. This is something that was read in the briefings. He has no other information about it. But I don't know why are they visiting here. Maybe it's our charming personality. Which has always bugged me about this, and I've talked about this forever. Why don't they land in Washington? This is a guess. Go to the Capitol on the Capitol steps and communicate. Well, you're assuming they're on the same level with us. When have you ever stopped on the side of the road and pulled over and decided to try and communicate with a bunch of cattle on the side of the road? You know, I, I think they're just on a completely different level. You never take the time to stop and try and talk to an anthill. I, I just think they're just in a completely different level, and it's, uh, there's, we're something to observe and so maybe have some use, but I don't think there are any... They're looking at us, right? Yeah. Yeah, they certainly are, and they have been for a long time. Black Rose asks, what is the purpose of scientific people keeping their knowledge hidden about aliens? What's, why, what is the purpose that scientific people would keep it hidden? I don't know why they keep the information about the aliens hidden. I, you know, in the previously they said, well, it would cause panic and upset people, but I don't believe that holds no. true anymore. And I can see why they keep the technology secret. Uh, that's, you know, obviously military, but I really don't know why they don't come clean and tell us what's going yeah. on. Ricky Merchant on Twitter. Given that stability seems important for such a heavy element, was there a lot of effort put to, into deduce? Which isotopes were present? Well, we, but that's kind of, and how did we determine what the element was? I mean, we ran all kinds of tests on it and uh, everything from atomic absorption and uh, uh, x, -ray, x ray fluorescence and, you know, every kind of test you could possibly imagine um, and bombarded it with radiation to see what effects it would have. They call that neutron activation. Um, and we tried to come up with other isotopes and, you know, accidentally did ourselves. But it was a stable element um, and something we had never seen before. Pavelis Slitka, Bob, on Twitter. What do, you, do you think blowing a whistle on what was going on saved your life? Well, I think it helped out. I hope it did. I hope this wasn't Why would they want to kill you? Well, I was, well, once... I took friends out to the site to view some of the tests. We got caught at one time, and it was it kind of all went downhill from there. Immediately after that is when I went public with it and uh, just thought that was an insurance policy. He didn't want to go public. He's a reluctant UFO messiah. George Knapp pulled him and said, this is going to help you to protect yourself, and I think he achieved that. Patty Jackson on Facebook asked two questions. She was at the premiere in December. 
Okay. How big were the spacecrafts from Area 51 that the reverse engineering was done on? I think it was about 52 feet in diameter. And approximately how many beings could these spacecraft hold? Three. Boy, someday we'll have all the answers. I hope so. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.